last many months, we have been seeing different kind of layoffs in the tech sector, which are market led or based on market conditions as the companies are saying. Now we found a trend among these layoffs. They're broadly of three kinds. First is very highly visible, highly funded startups, in many cases, unicorns, uh, which are laying off or have been laying off um, because of different conditions as they talk about the drop in funding, the drop in valuation levels, and the need to extend their runways because of which layoffs is one of the answers they're looking at. Now, the second is very large tech behemoths, which as they cite due to multiple microeconomic conditions, etc., or restructuring, they are looking at layoffs in different countries and India is also not completely immune to this and therefore employees in the country at times are also getting impacted by these layoffs. And third is much more rare, but much more heart rending is in the growth stage, certain companies not being able to manage their growth itself and uh, being forced to shut down entire divisions or even entire companies. So these are some of the layoffs which we are seeing in terms of trends in the tech-led, market-led kind of layoffs today. Um, and while it's very difficult to get accurate data on layoffs, what we also found when we try to understand the insights is one site, layoffs.fii, uh, they do track granular data in terms of layoffs which are announced and uh, they are available publicly. They track data globally, but when it comes to India, they do also track data from some of these tech-led startups layoffs. And uh, what we found is that eight sectors account for over 80% of these layoffs. These sectors are education, retail, finance, food, healthcare, travel, transportation, and consumer. Now, one thing you'll notice in common is many of these are actually B2C. First, businesses, business to consumer where they have to spend a lot of money in terms of building their brand, reaching out to customers, etc. And as the market conditions tighten, maybe they're also trying to manage their expenses better. The other point is regional reach of these layoffs. In most cases, we see the large cities like Bangalore, Delhi and Mumbai contributing more to the layoffs. But one sad fact is that while going through the data, we found that some of these companies have done multiple rounds of layoffs. Right, so and that's you know something which is obviously scary for the employees going through this. The other aspect is that while uh, people are going through this and trying to look at alternate options, um, they obviously need to look at which areas are fitting their demand and their skill sets. And some of the areas we've been talking about, be it global capability centers, be it roles like cybersecurity, be it certain transferable skills which can allow them to probably have jobs in other growing sectors. And uh, those are the opportunities we'll keep trying to highlight and bring it to you. Um, that's it from our side. And for anybody who's going through the layoff right now, we'll try to bring more insights that can help you as you look for your next role or the next job. Thank you.